Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And it's our Let's Learn series. And we're going to take a tour of the base today and kind of just talk about what's been going on, what's been happening, and maybe even try and take out those biters up there. <clears throat> so, let's get right to it, shall we? So, what I've done, I'm actually going to. I want to move this box, but I can't. And I'm trying to think if I can put this onto a belt somehow. So let's put this on a belt to f at least make it kind of work. Uh, let's see. I think this will make it work. It'll at least put it on here, which it will then incorporate into the system as we use the stone. Do I have a very many stone walls? No, I don't actually. So I'm going to pick up <clears throat> a bunch because I plan on adding some extra walls a couple places. So this was a huge coal deposit here. Oh, well, this one has no more resources. So this is a huge coal deposit that that we've uh, I've tapped into and slowly is being used up. And then there was stone deposits. There was a stone deposit here that I've tapped into. And then there's these stone deposits back here on this base. So we're going to kind of start in this corner. going to work our way around and then through. And then I'll, I'll, I'll explain the base and where the resources come from and how that all works. So this might be a long episode. It might be a short one. So I've got a wall with turrets all the way around with ammo in there. So that way if we get any kind of biters, they'll defend us. And then up here we're into our, our copper fields. So this was the original copper f field I had. And so then we've expanded into these fields as well up here, which is slowly being consumed. And it feeds into here. And actually, look at this. This is all Kaputsky. So let's pick this up and connect it in just like so. Let's pick this stuff up here. Just F to pick up and let's pick up the, uh, this stuff up. You also notice that I've placed down a lot of these oil refineries uh, everywhere I could find for for where there's oil deposits. That's so that way we can start processing oil and get that on the move. And I'm kind of working my way up here to this deposit. There was a tiny, tiny copper deposit up here. And like anything, I hate wasting resources. So therefore, this is what I did. <laughs> I created a long trail and hooked it into the back of the other copper deposits. So now this is all just an empty area with some trees. There's some stone in here, which I think I'll I'll tap into and then kind of bring the it all the way in down into here and tie it into there. Maybe let's do that right now. So let's find a good spot to, to put the, a, a door. Two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to put a door here so we can access the outside. And I'm going to place down some miners. Let's see, we'll put one like that. Like that. There's even coal down here too. Crazy. So I want to try and capture all of this. So maybe. So let's pick that up. Let's start capturing it from here. Here. Okay, like this like that and then maybe we can somehow tie it like this and then we'll put it on a belt oops this one this one so both sides of it will have something now and let's bring this belt down Do this. Okay, and we're gonna take some more belts here. We'll just do it like this. Okay. 
I think we need to do that so it doesn't tie in together. Okay, and then from here, we put a splitter in place here so it combines it. And then we can continue with our belt. Now I want to tie it in you correctly, right? So where does it come from? Maybe we'll take the belt out. So let's see here. Just like this. Just go straight out like this. Okay, and then we'll run over to the other side here. So today I'm not timing this episode because this episode is gonna be basically it's gonna be as long as it needs to be, because I want to show you the entire base here and we'll set this up too in the process just to give you an idea what goes on when I play offline here when I don't record. Um, I've had to start record and I should start research when we always start because I don't want to research when I'm uh, I'm just out and about so I'm going to do this one for the electric furnaces not that I'll I'll make them but we might as well just have the research so we'll get that started okay so we do this and then there you go so now we're connected in the, uh, with the belt and now we're going to add some wiring here. I wonder if I can build more advanced wiring. Let's take a look. No, I can only still build the regular unless I need. Now I should show you the item in here, just not able to build it, that's all. So let's keep building these. Let's go out this way. Let's put a light out here. This way we have a nice light. Now let's build some more. Okay, now any more power poles. That's crazy. Good thing we got a little bit of wood. And uh, hopefully it's enough to tie it in. <laughs> okay, that one. That one. That one should tie them all in and then we'll put a light here. Now these are just stone deposit things and I don't think there's any biters really nearby that we have to worry about. Our pollution grid is, uh, is doing pretty good. Okay, perfect. Now there's this huge uh, iron deposit here I want to tap into and maybe tie into there or use a train system to bring the resources. Since we got tracks, I'd like to kind of utilize that. And there's a few other deposits, like, like there's all this oil here, and I'll have to bring in the oil. There's still a bunch of coal that we can bring in, so I want to kind of make a depot somewhere. Maybe down here is kind of my plan, is down in there. And so that's why we have to expand the, the wall, and so the stone is going to be very important. So yeah, so here we go. So that's in full swing. That's harvesting. Now we're inside. Okay. So that's this part. And let's go back. This looks like it's done, so let's dismantle it. We can. Ah, let's keep the light here. It's a good spot, probably. So I'm dismantling this. Okay, so that way it is consistent. And what this does, this is another deposit. This goes all the way around. All the way down here. Oh, what's wrong here? Okay, yeah, no, this, what this is, this is an injection system. I put this here for now, uh, so it injects coal into here, but the main coal is from down here. But that might end, and since uh, I needed this for a short period of time, I'll probably take this out, because we don't need this here. And if you notice, there's all these oil rigs up, and I have them, you pump their oil into these tanks, for crude oil and then I put the crude oil into these these oil refineries here and if you look they're using electricity like crazy what's my consumption at oh my consumption is greater than oh look at that we're gonna have to redo this whole assembly here crap that's gonna slow us down actually so let's keep researching here I want to do the larger, the better energy distribution. So we'll do that. So anyways, I'll go right to the source. So we get 
coal here. We we pump this coal up into the system. Here we have some of it breaking off to go into the furnaces here for crafting for the uh, the walls. <clears throat> then I have it split here for the heating for the the tanks, and I think we have water issues, so we're gonna have to redo all of this because it's not working quite well. And so I think we'll do that right on camera here, and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna lose a little bit of power. There'll be some brownouts, but that's to be expected. So let's put some underground pipe here. Gonna bring it up as far as we can, actually. I think to here because let's see here and I think these are too long I'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 well maybe they're not too long maybe 14 is the right length that I want and so what we'll do here is do the same kind of idea we'll split this okay and then <clears throat> We'll split this one. We'll, we'll keep that there just so we can see the water flow go through. And let's tie this up. Actually, no, I don't need those. I need boilers. So we need stone furnaces to make boilers. And I think I put a whole bunch in here. Yes. Let's grab those. And let's make some boilers here. 14. So until there's one. Perfect. And I'm going to put those, oh, okay, but let's do this. Let's bring in the coal along the top this time. And we'll just put them along here. Then what we do, that was research, so let's pick another research. See how fast this research is going? It's just ludicrous. <laughs> so let's do, let's do... Okay, see that uses blue pods. I'm going to show you that too after here. Uh, blue pods, so let's do flammables. Okay, and let's, let's... I always like to see the water flow through and I don't know why. That's just the way I am. And let's, tie, let's tie that in there. Perfect. Okay, now we can put a bunch of these little dudes here. Okay. And actually... I have an idea. So up here, I'm cracking this this stuff into. Uh, I'm cracking this stuff and bringing it up here. So I want to actually bring this solid fuel down further. So we're gonna get rid of that, and we're going to put this here. So basically, what you can do with these kind of like you know the light oil and the 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 heavy oil is they're byproducts of breaking down the crude oil into gasoline here or whatever it's called, petroleum. And so, yeah. And so these are kind of like byproducts, and so they slowly fill up. And so instead of having it fill up, I'm going to have it kind of manufacture this stuff and use it as a fuel for these things, an alternate fuel. Yeah, sure, we got to use a belt to bring it, but that's okay, and that's done. That's done really quick. I'm quite surprised. Let's just do the speed modules then. Let's do all the modules. Okay, and let me bring it down this way. Okay, and let's bring it out. Okay, I'm going to draw a line where they are supposed to be, just like that. Okay, perfect. And let's put a power line up. Right, and then we're gonna tie in this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, and then we turn it, and then we do underground belt, just like this, like this, and then we tap it in there. And then what we do is then we use electricity so let's let's power these guys up just like that like so and voila now this will be powered 
and the water should increase both waters and performance should be now perfect this should work all the way down and as you can see the water is now nice and high and so each line for each row of 10 I think I got 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there you go 10 and uh, so this side will use the coal and this side will use this manufactured stuff which is actually quite a bit and Oh, that's done. Perfect. Let's do this one because it uses the green. Okay, and then, so basically all this energy and fuel goes up. So this is slowly injected in as well as it's slowly injected in that way. Just seeing how... Well, at least it's getting used up slowly, which is good. That's what I wanted. I want to actually put this like this, like that, see what happens, to see if it uses this for here, or if it uses still the, the salt, oh yeah it does, okay perfect, so I want to use up the wood first, since we don't replenish that, we have to manually replenish that, I got some copper that I can throw into here, put some copper in this side as well, a lot of copper ore and so I imagine that this slowly will use up the fuel as it goes you know eventually you'll use up see it kind of splits a half and a half here there's kind of solid it's solid kind of splits a half and a half here and this is all solid a coal I just because down here at the end this plastic production needs coal pure coal okay and so what I have on this other side here is iron and so let's run to where the iron deposits are I got a door here okay so if you follow this trail up oh that's done <laughs> let's do armor crafting 3 since there's basic modular armor so let's do that research we need better armor for fighting so I, I have a pipe here because there's oil up here that I tapped into as well. Yeah, see right in here. So we got all this oil from these things. Now why is this not producing? Is it out or? Weird, I don't know. I don't understand the oil too much myself. These should be connected in and then connected in here. Yeah, no, everything's connected. So up here, let's go up here. I think there's some... Let's go check over here if there's some iron. I don't think there is, but I just want to double check it. Some cool land generation, that's for sure. No, it looks like there's stone, stone. I think I shot that or blew up some stuff. There's more copper. I think we're good on copper for a while but anyways up here is where we harvest the ores and actually we're using up quite a bit of iron deposits here so it's scary oh crap I gotta fix that there you go okay and then this one here it's still producing and then up here we got the same kind of situation these all are producing at the moment still okay so we're not going through this too quickly okay good but up here if you can look there's a deposit there I want to tap into and this one here I want to tap into we could do either one of two ways we can either pick the stuff up with a train and bring it down or or we can just tap into our, our belt line here and I'm kinda of leaning towards that belt line so let's see what we got for I don't have any bullets so we need to set up bullets before we go after those those aliens up there but yeah but this is where we get iron from and slowly there was another deposit to kind of like the the west of us but I already chewed through that it was a, a pretty small one anyways uh, here this is just oil I have to add in a pump I have to build 
a pump for the factory. But then I have to make engines. And how do I make... Is it just a regular engine unit? Electric engine unit. So where... Probably need to research that, which so I don't even have it yet. Okay, let's make another one of these. Yeah, no, I'm just looking through here. I know there's these smart chests with the smart inserters, and they kind of do some neat things. You can do some kind of like limited programming with that stuff. Let's run back to the base. Now I'll show you kind of like the the main hub area, deposit area, whatever you want to call it. This is how we store our, our materials. And so, oh, okay, more just opened up, crazy. Okay, that uses blue, let's just start from the start. Anything that uses blue, we won't research. <laughs> we'll do those last. Okay, so basically, our minerals come in, our copper comes in, and they get smelted into plates. This is kind of like your building basic block, or your building blocks, your basic building blocks of these kind of resources. I'm just going to grab some more gears here. And how am I for plates? I could probably grab 100 plates. So I have this siphon off, so that way I, ha I always have those materials to take from. So they're, the stuff is smelted and then it's you brought into our main system here. And then off of this main system here, I have it break off as we need it in different areas for con of consumption and other you know, interesting places. So down here, I have boxes that are set up so that way if I ever need pipes, I got it. So that's very useful. Uh, plastic, I can just pick up off the belt if I really need it. I got the batteries going into a box just so that way I can have it. And then from the box onto the belt, then it splits up up here. And it pushes itself onto the belt with the red here. And then it goes over here to create the blue research packs, which are slowly backing up. And then down here, from the start of the main one, we have it, the copper and iron break off. And then the iron is helping to produce all of these. The copper down here produces the copper wire for this to produce the inserter. And then the inserter gets placed on this line. And then up here, kind of the same idea. We have these gears that are manufactured for the red research and the copper plates for the red research. And then we got gears here, which then go into here for the belts, which then pop into here. And then here we siphon off the belts. Well, yeah, we take off extra belts from here and put in here if there needs to be extras. And I think one, two... Let's see, let's see how many do we have. We could probably grab a couple of these since we're going to be using them. And the same with the green. You know, it takes off of this belt and produces the green. And then we go down this. So there's going to be your two belts here, which you see one for the green, one for the red, and then one for the blue, and one for the purple. So they're all going to be here, all four of them and then I have 10 of them so that way our research goes fairly quickly as you notice. I haven't been researching when I've been playing offline so I just want to do that with all of you on here. I got some more oil stuff here that gets pumped into into the system. I'm not sure how long they last, if they last forever or not and all that fun stuff. I might have to put in those pumps all over just to help you push the fluid through. Um, let's see here. What else can I talk about? Here we got steel production, like steel plates from the iron plates. And then that goes into the main system. The circuit production goes into the main system here. And then gets split off if we need it, as it's used up here and over here. Okay, that's done. How about this? No, red. Okay, we can do this one. This is what we need to make that one unit, the, the pump. And yeah, and then I have plastics. So basically this oil handling stuff, I basically from all those oil pumps and everything, they slowly get pushed into these storage tanks here. Everything. And these storage tanks then hold the crude oil, which then get used by these production units. Well, production units. Well, these oil refineries, right? And then it cracks it and so it breaks this down into 
you basically heavy oil, light oil, and I think this is petroleum. And then so the petroleum gets stored, the light oil gets stored, and the heavy oil gets stored. And so that's why we're using it for these furnaces, this stuff. And actually we could probably solely use it and save the the just yes, save this for a lot of our well for a lot of this like if you think about it if we're pushing this into the feed this is using less uh, coal and then if we push uh, this into at least half the feed or no into the feed as well then it's going to use less coal and so most of the coal will go down the line over here which is perfect so let's do that let's let's split this off how am I going to tie it in? I'm not too sure. Let's take a look here. What else can we research? Let's do the energy accumulators. I'm not sure how to work with these, but we'll mess around with them a little bit maybe sometime. So how do I want to tie this in? I think it would be very easy. So let's do a splitter. So let's actually, actually pick that up and then put this like that so it pushes those okay so this will slowly get used up and in the meantime let's fix this right here so I'm going to split this stuff off okay and then I'm going to bring the solid down okay down this way one more and then we Turn it this way, this way, turn it this way. Yeah, I know it's like a little snake, but it's what we got to do. Then I think we can tear these up. Okay, now we can bring this underneath and that way, and voila. Now this stuff will fill in into here. It'll use up the coal first, and then now we've, we've effectively switched over to the solid fuel. Let's see how quick, if we can keep up with production to keep our power going, or if not. But it looks like we're keeping up. It looks like it can produce it fast enough. Most of it's going to be pushed down this way, because this only gets used as this box gets used up of its materials. And I want to get rid of the wood. That's a priority. So, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. I could almost destroy this here connection here and then we could turn just like that and just have it go this way and so this will now turn into the extra materials from here which then gets produced from here and so this will produce more which in turn should hopefully use up more of this light oil and heavy oil. That's kind of like the plan. Okay. Oh, we can do flight. Let's see if we can actually have to pick something. Flamethrower. Ooh, let's do the flamethrower research. New weapons. Okay, so I need five processing units. How do we make those? Oh, we need electronic circuit, advanced circuit, and sulfuric acid. <clears throat> so let's see here. So which means we need one of these to make it. Chemical plant. So this is sulfuric acid. So, okay, that research is done. <laughs> what else can we do? Let's do landmines. Since we can do that. That might be useful for when they run towards you. So now with this stuff being sulfuric acid, I'm thinking we could almost tap into it. Um, so we need the red circuits. So that means plastic bars, electronic circuits, and copper cable. So this is the plastic right here. we got copper and stuff down here.
and electronic circuits up here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll chop some trees down here, bring it down into here. Let's see, because the sulfuric acid is on this side, so we'll kind of try and keep the production to this side as well. Okay. So basically what I do with these trees, since it's wood, I usually make power poles with them if I need them. And, oh, look at this. So I should make these medium ones. So I don't know if I'll need to use these small ones anymore. Maybe we'll keep a complement. Five. Okay, maybe we'll keep a little bit of them and then we'll make a lot of these guys. Lamb mines are done. Okay, excellent. Let's do rocketry, so that way we have it. And I need to set up ammo as well, so let's see here. So yeah, so anyways, <laughs> all the sulfuric acid and everything. And, um, so basically down here I take the gas and turn it into sulfur because it needs just gas and water. And then up here I take I take the water, I put, I pump water into here, and put the sulfur in here, and that makes sulfuric acid, which then in turn makes the batteries. And now it's going to make the a component for the blue thing right here, because I need the advanced circuits, which is plastic up here, which uses gas as well. And yeah, it's kind of neat. It's kind of you create these production zones to create the next level item automatically and to keep it pushing up and up and up. And it's just it's just very interesting, very fascinating this game and how it works with fluids and everything. And you know, I'm gonna keep playing off camera. I think uh, what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna actually I'll show you kind of what we'll do. I need to make kind of like a bay for the trains so that they can come into the base system you unload and then take off again and then you start picking up stuff again it's kind of like the idea right one two three four five five so it's kind of like the idea I have to put defenses here and I actually have to extend this down further now oh whoa what's this so it looks like we're being invaded actually by a bunch of creatures. Let's see if the turrets did their job. So that is actually starting to really bug me. So that means they're coming for us. But from where? Because pollution isn't reaching them. So this is what I mean. See, so, so these walls are paramount. But anyways, I was going to build a section. Ah, these trees. These trees will come down. So we're going to build a section. I think we'll just kind of build it on from here and down. Not sure how far down to take this. Maybe down to this, this brown patch here. Let's see. Okay, down to here probably, and then I'm going to go this way. So basically I'm going to create a massive wall with defenses all the way around. And then what's going to happen is in this area here where all these trees are, which we'll have to clear slowly as we need them, this is where the trains are going to kind of come in. They're going to come into these bays, these tracks. So basically we'll have like multiple tracks kind of well maybe not like that but we're gonna have multiple tracks that they're gonna be able to kind of park in and then they're gonna offload their materials and then they're gonna of course get loaded with with fuel and whatnot so, so that's kind of like the plan and that's what I'm gonna do off camera because it's very boring a lot of trial and error I'm gonna set up some ammo uh, reserves or ammo creation which you obviously know how to do that and you'll see how uh, I'll do that after uh, in the post you kind of off-camera 
video, <laughs> you know, in the next episode, basically. And yeah, and so hopefully maybe we'll start kind of you know, looking into the trains and use that as a good method of of everything. So I'm going to also cut off the coal from here. There we go. Okay, perfect. And I got a little bit of coal on me, but that's okay. And then I can throw that coal over. Oh, gotta be careful. It's almost like traps sometimes. Then I can throw that coal over into these things. Let's see. Let's throw into the plastic bars here, so that way it doesn't get used up too quickly. Oh, why isn't the copper or It's filling up, but why? Oh, okay, it's probably because I put uh, coal in there and it doesn't do that correctly. There was some wood there and it doesn't do that correctly. So I guess it only uses, it only puts more if it needs it. So that's kind of neat. So yeah, so there you go, everybody. Hopefully that was a brief tour of everything. Hopefully you kind of understand what's going on with the systems and everything. Oh, rocketry is done. Oh, let's do alien technology because this will open up the purple science packs. So we might as well get that going as well. So that way we have that on the belt and then we won't be stopped by any of that crap. And so yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, we're going to probably wrap this series up in a few more episodes. You wrap up as and get all the technologies and to complete the game, I think you have to get into rocketry, and then there's like a defense system, and then from that defense system you build something, and then it's game over. So, uh, where is it? Rocket damage, shooting, see power armor, rocket defense. This is what you need to finish the game, basically. And so, once we've got this all completed, then voila. Yeah, then it's game over, and once we build it, then it's done. So thank you everybody for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And you all have a good day. Bye bye.